In this tutorial I will show you how to digitally draft a basic sleeve pattern utilizing the Armstrong's method. I am using Valentina, a free open source pattern making software. You can download it using the link in the video description below. We'll need a basic bodice block to obtain the armhole measurement. I'll be using Armstrong's basic block in size 10, which is also size M40 in European sizing. I'll save this file under a new name. First, I'll add three new measurements, sleeve length, bicep circumference, and cap height. To begin, I add a new pattern piece. The starting point will appear below my previous draft. From point C, I'll mark the measurement for sleeve length. Next, I'll mark the cap height. This is the distance from the top of the sleeve to the level of the biceps. On one half of the line between points C1 and C2, I'll mark point C3. Point C4 will be three quarters of an inch above point C3, designating the elbow line. I'll mark half of the biceps measurement. I'll then mirror this point using the Flipping Objects by Axis tool. Now, I'll connect these points with lines. To get the armhole measurement from the bodice block, I'll refer to a separate pattern piece in this file. Next, I'll adjust the curve of the armhole. I'll draft an arc to mark the armhole measurement at the biceps line. To calculate the radius for drafting the sleeve cap, I'll add the front and back armhole measurements from the bodice, divide the sum by 2, and then add 1 quarter of an inch. I'll draw an arc with point C as the center. To find the point where the arc intersects the biceps line, you can use either the point of intersection arc and axis tool or the point intersect curve and axis tool. I'll repeat this step for the front side of the sleeve.
Next, I'll adjust the arc angles to intersect with the biceps line and mark the intersection point. I'll also mark a point halfway between these two intersection points, which will be used for drafting the sleeve. For better visibility, you can choose to hide or show point labels. I'll now divide the lines CC8 and CC9 into fourths. On the wrist line, I'll mark point C16. The distance between C1 and C16 will be 2 inches shorter than that between C2 and C9. I'll mirror this point to the other side of the pattern. Again, I'll connect these points with lines. For the sleeve cap, I'll square in or out from specific points. On the back, I'll square 3 eighths of an inch in from point C12, 1 fourth inch out from C10, and 5 eighths of an inch from C11. On the front, I will square out 3 quarters of an inch from C14, 3 sixteenths of an inch out from C13, and half an inch in from C15.
Next, I'll connect these points with curves, drawing separate curves for the front and back. This makes it easier to check the length and determine the ease in the sleeve cap. I'll mark point C23 on the front elbow line, then mirror it to the back sleeve. To mark point C24, I'll extend the line from C23 to C23 C3 by 1 quarter inch. I'll then connect points C24 and C9, as well as C24 and C4, marking the midpoint of this last line as point C25. For the elbow dart, I'll draw an arc from C24 with a radius of 1 inch. Then I'll draw a second arc from point C25, with the radius being the length of line C25 C24.
I'll mark the point where these two arcs intersect. Next, I'll connect the dart legs with lines. On the wrist line, I'll mark point C27, which is 3 inches from point C16. I'll then mark a distance on the line between C26 and C27, making it equal to the length of line C23, C16, C2. I'll draw an arc from point C28 with a radius equal to the length of line C16, C16, C2, marking the intersection of this arc and the wrist line. Now I'll connect these points with lines. Finally, I'll draw a slightly curved line from C8 to C29. Once that's done, I'll transfer the sleeve draft to Details mode. Using the pin tool, I'll mark points to indicate the grain line.
To finish up, I'll add seam allowances and some notches. Thank you for following along.